hi everyone welcome back to our channel today we are going to study the next unit which is nothing but unit number 4 here you are going to study completely all about batteries so first one the concept is the requirement of batteries which is called in shortcut energy storage system the requirement of batteries or energy storage system in electric vehicles so actually the purpose of energy storage system there are four types of energy storage system first one is nothing but chemical batteries so we will be discussing in detail about this chemical batteries step by step so which include lead acid battery with h2so4 as electrolyte and gel as an electrolyte and we'll discuss about lithium ion batteries and in the same lithium ion we are going to discuss about lithium ferrous i mean ferrous phosphate batteries in shortcut which is called as a lfp batteries and we'll discuss about fuel cell batteries and we'll discuss about the flywheel okay so this all the energy storage devices but in specifically we'll discuss about only the chemical batteries which are called as energy storage systems or batteries first we'll discuss about the chemical batteries and later we'll try to discuss about the next energy storage device which is called as a super capacitors how a super capacitor is designed and what are the properties of a super capacitor which stores the voltage we'll discuss about this super capacitor so third one we'll try to discuss about ultra high speed flywheels so we'll try to discuss about ultra high speed flywheels so these flywheels are also called as mechanical capacitors these are also act like an energy storage components so chemical batteries are also energy storage super capacitors are also energy storage and ultra high speed flywheels generally which is called as mechanical capacitors also act like an energy storage devices next one is nothing but a fuel cell so this is the trending type of energy storage which is nothing but fuel cell by using water as an source it converts into hydrogen and oxygen where hydrogen is nothing but the fuel in the fuel cell all these are the energy storage systems in electric vehicle application and what are the requirement there are some number of requirements of for a battery to be used in so there are some requirements so that should be fulfilled so the requirements to be fulfilled to be a battery in electric vehicle a battery in electric vehicle so if you want to use this battery in electric vehicle there are some requirements they should have some properties so what are those properties or we generally call as a, the specifications it should have energy density okay it should have energy density so what is density so density is nothing but length into width so this is length this is breadth and this is nothing but height okay so when you consider this height this is called as volume volume is expressed as me length into breadth into height in general we will call it as a meter cube so this is called density energy can be represented as watt hour so what is energy density which very much important the parameter so energy density is nothing but the amount of energy is nothing but the amount of energy stored in meter cube of battery volume stored in a wall battery volume so this is the amount of energy which is nothing but energy can be expressed as whatever so this amount of energy stored in the volume of meter cube is nothing but energy density and the way of representing the energy density is uh, energy can be written as whatever and density can be written as meter cube so an ev battery should have high energy density high energy density should be there for an electric vehicle and second property or the requirement to be an battery for electric vehicle is uh, next one is nothing but specific energy 
so all this will discuss again in specifications of a battery next one is specific energy so energy can be written as watt hour and specific when you speak specific this is nothing but clearly defined if you define anything clearly it's called specific so clearly we are going to define for kg so specific energy means this is the energy stored by a battery this is the energy stored by an battery for a kg of battery mass for a battery mass of 1 kg how much amount of energy is stored is called as specific energy so how to express this so energy can be written as watt hour divided by specific so for 1 kg of battery mass how much amount of energy can be stored is called as specific energy so example we are going to write down it as a 100 watt hour per kg so for 1 kg of battery mass it has to store how many how much amount of energy 100 watt hour is the energy that it can store per 1 kg for 2 kg it can store 200 watt hour of energy this is called specific energy so this is how we discussed about energy density and specific energy so these are the two requirements uh, we need to have and specific which is highly recommended is uh, so specific energy should be high for an electric vehicle so the electric vehicle should have high specific energy so what is the meaning of uh, having an high specific energy so for a given mass of 1 kg of battery we should be able to deliver high amount of uh, energy okay then these batteries are 100% suitable for electric vehicle applications. So next property, what are the requirement for an battery is a specific power. All this will be again covered in the parameters of a battery, which is nothing but specific power. So what is meant by specific power? So this is nothing but power we can write down it as watts. Specifically means which is clearly defined. We are expressing the amount of energy stored per kg so specific power means uh, this is the amount of power stored this is nothing but the amount of power obtained per a kg of battery weight per a kg of battery weight for a battery weight of 1 kg for a battery weight of 1 kg so the amount of power obtained okay so this i can write down it as a, so i can write down it as 100 watt per kg for a battery of 1 kg weight how much amount of power it can store so this is called as specific power and the specific power is very much important in the case of an hybrid electric vehicle the case of a hybrid electric vehicle we need to have the specific power as highest value so specific power is higher means you can say that it can deliver maximum power for a given weight of uh, 1 kg for a given weight of 1 kg for a given battery mass of 1 kg it has to deliver the maximum possible power where this is called specific power specific power should be high for hybrid electric vehicle and specific energy should be higher for electric vehicle so this is all about the requirements of an battery in electric vehicle it should have high energy density it should have high specific power and it should have high specific energy so if all these are fulfilled then i can say that uh, this is a very good electric vehicle battery and next one we need to have high specific efficiency so efficiency okay so this efficiency is also to be higher so we have two types of uh, efficiency one is ampere hour efficiency and this efficiency will be all the time nearer to 100 percentage so generally how to define efficiencies we can call it as electrical as output power by input so here what is output of a battery 
so it is nothing but ampere hour rating of a battery ampere hour rating of a battery while it is discharging so output is nothing but the battery is going to discharge divided by input what is the input we are going to charge is nothing but ampere hour rating of a battery while charging so output is discharge input is charging okay so if you when you perform this uh, ampere hour rating so this is uh, 100 ah divided by 100 ah multiplied with uh, 100 which will also be equal to 100 uh, which is nothing but the specific efficiency will be greater for generally all the types of battery and what is the next requirement for an battery to be considered for electric vehicle is uh, so the maintenance requirement okay maintenance requirement so regularly we need to top up with distilled water so we need to top up this with we need to top up this with distilled water so this is nothing but the maintenance is required in an electric vehicle and this electric vehicle should have next requirement is uh, it should have energy should efficiently use the energy which is called energy management system there are some number of videos in our channel to describe about what is meant by the need of energy management system in electric vehicle so an electric vehicle battery should have good energy management system and it should be easily decomposable which is called environmental adaptation so the battery, it may be lead acid battery or lithium ion battery, it should be easily disposable, okay, or it should be easily decomposed. So when it's easily decomposed, then easily it can be, it can mix up with the mud or the sand, where I can say that easily it can be adapted by the environment, okay, which is also called environmental friendliness okay so and the type of battery what you are using should be an safest battery the best safest battery what we are going to have is a lb battery which is nothing but lithium ferrous or iron phosphate battery in shortcut we call it as a lfb batteries so these are the powerful batteries where 100 percent fireproof these batteries are so all these are the requirements of an electric vehicle so the types of batteries what we just have a small revision so the types of energy storage devices are chemical batteries super capacitor and <clears throat> high speed flywheel which is nothing but a mechanical capacitor the next one is nothing but the fuel cell okay these are the different types of energy storage and the requirements to be fulfilled so if you want to use a battery in electric vehicle it should have high energy density it should have high specific power and it should have high specific uh, energy and specific power and it should offer highest efficiency which is nothing but 100 percentage and easily it should be topped up with the distilled water which is nothing but maintenance is minimum and this electric vehicle battery should have an energy management system where it can accept the power while it is uh, charging and where the vehicle undergoes regenerative braking also we should have the capability to absorb the energy where this is called energy management system and this electric vehicle battery should be easily decomposed so they should be easily mix up with the environment the mud where this is called environmental friendliness which is called environmental adaptation and this battery should have follow the should have a 100 percent safety that's why the latest trending in the battery is nothing but LFB battery, which are lithium ferrous phosphate batteries. All these are very much important while you design an battery or the requirements of an battery. Hope the video is very useful. If you feel the content is useful, please give a like and share with your friends. And if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel if you are watching for first time so this will help us to do more videos and this is a free channel which 
will help you to understand more concepts about electric vehicle thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video what are the characteristics of an battery we need to have thank you for watching